It's Kyle, and today we're reviewing the Nordic Flash GoPro chest mount. So this is an aftermarket chest mount from Nordic Flash, which is a company which seems to be marketing themselves as very reliable and uh, it's kind of based around making sure the consumer is happy. They have a satisfaction guarantee and they have a one year warranty on all their products. So that's at least where they're, they seem to, how they seem to be marketing themselves. The real question is, does their stuff stand up to that um, portrayal of their company? So it comes in this Ziploc um, bag here, which you just unzip and open up. And it comes with a aftermarket GoPro chest mount, as well as a three-way pivot arm set, a buckle mount, and some nice blue aluminum thumb screws. So kind of at least this, the accessories it comes with do feel pretty premium. But let's have a little talk about this aftermarket chest mount because it is a fair bit cheaper and it comes with three pivot arms. So this is $24 right now on Amazon and the GoPro chest mount is around 40 bucks. So there is a pretty big price difference there. And if someone's out looking to get a GoPro chest mount, this would seem to be a pretty good option, at least price-wise compared to that of the GoPro. So down here, I've got my GoPro chest mount. And at first glance, the two seem to be pretty similar. They've both got waist straps. They've both got the two shoulder straps at the backs. They've got the same kind of design where the waist strap comes in and then a little, uh, little bit up and then it goes into the over the shoulder strap. So all of that seems to be just about the same. There's also the, the first difference you're probably going to notice is these two cutouts in the bottom of the Nordic flash mount. Now, what these I would have to assume are for is if you want to add a crotch strap onto the chest mount. And then the second difference, and this is the one where things really start to separate between the GoPro chest mount and this aftermarket chest mount. And that's when you actually unbuckle it and take it off. So if you unbuckle the GoPro chest mount, you'll notice that the second shoulder strap comes with it. So it comes out very much like a coat. So you've got two arm holes, you put your two arms through these holes, and then just buckle it up in the front. So to put this on, and I apologize if the mic starts squeaking here, I go one shoulder there, I reach around the back, I put on the other shoulder strap, and then just buckle it up in the front. And it's really, really easy, and I don't have to put anything over top of my head. Now, to put on the Nordic flash mount, we unbuckle it here. And you notice this, this shoulder strap doesn't come with that waist strap. So now I had to put my one arm through here and then this I had to put over top of my head and then I get to put the waist the around the chest strap gets buckled back up. I'm sure off the bat that difference seems to be a little bit nitpicky and not that big of a deal. But consider if you were doing a sport in which you were wearing a helmet, say skiing, snowboarding, biking, downhill mount, biking, anywhere where you're probably going to be wanting to wear this chest mount, chances are you might also be wearing a helmet. And in order to take that chest mount on or off with a helmet, unless you're wearing a particularly small helmet, it's probably not fitting through this loop. And if it is not fitting through that loop, it means you have to remove the helmet in order to wear, put on, or take off this chest mount. So really, I think GoPro did the right thing in adding this, um, having the shoulder strap unbuckle with the waist strap. And I think it's a pity that it doesn't happen on these aftermarket chest mounts. Nordic Flash is not the only aftermarket chest mounting chest mount. There's lots of others out there identical to this chest mount. So do, if you're out shopping for aftermarket chest mounts, keep an eye out for that. It's something that I didn't really realize going in, but when I started using this, it did become quite annoying. So an aftermarket chest mount is great, but just keep in mind that there are some refinements that you do pay for when you pay for those premium GoPro aftermarket accessories. And this is one of those cases in which the the genuine GoPro chest mount is genuinely better than the aftermarket one. The aftermarket one creates great shots. The shots between the two of them, I couldn't tell the difference. I could use both of them. I get the same shots, but this one is harder and more annoying to put on and take off if you're wearing any kind of helmet. Actually, 
it doesn't really matter. Putting something over your head is always more of a pain than just sticking both arms through it. In this case, you have to stick one arm and your head through it, and this one you just stick both arms through it, and this one is genuinely easier to use. So in this case, despite this being a very nice product, well-refined, it seems to work fine, I do have to say that the GoPro one is still easier to use on an everyday basis. The Nordic flash mount though is pretty cool because it does come with some great accessories. So you get a aluminum buckle or aluminum bolt kit. So you get three of these really nice premium feeling aluminum bolts. You get one long one and two short ones. And then instead of a J buckle mount, which is what's included with the GoPro one, you get three extension arms, which allow you to kind of mount your GoPro into any location you want and which make it actually possible to use a chest mount for snowboarding. What you can do is you can throw on this buckle mount and then a couple of these extension arms, just like this, and then actually mount your GoPro facing to one side. So if you're riding, uh, when you're riding sideways to the hill, you can have the GoPro looking towards one end of the board, not just up or down the hill, which is what normally happens if you uh, try chest mounting while snowboarding. In conclusion then, Despite the Nordic Flash GoPro chest mount being completely functional and producing basically the same footage you would get from the genuine GoPro one, I have to say that if you can afford it, spend the little bit of extra money and buy the genuine GoPro one that unstraps both the side, the shoulder strap and that waist strap because these things last forever. This one I've had since I got my very, very first GoPro, my GoPro Hero 1 or Hero. Um, so I've had this one since then. It was the HD Hero back then. So this was since my first HD Hero and it has lasted forever. I've used it skiing, biking, it's been used everywhere and it does, they do last. So I would spend that little bit of extra money and buy this one with that shoulder strap that unbuckles. And um, yeah, that's kind of all there is to say about it. It is easier to use than this with having to stuff your head through the strap every time you wanted to put it on or take it off. Guys, this was another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe. Check out my channel for lots more videos and like the video. Until next time, thank you very, very much for watching. And if you want to learn more about what's going on behind the scenes, day to day, make sure you check out the GoPro tips Facebook page. Until next time, guys, thank you very, very much for watching.